Hi, today I'm going to be doing the craziest thing that I think I've ever done on this channel, drawing on rides at the most magical place on earth, Walt Disney World. And I also have something secret planned for the end of the video, so you're gonna want to stay and watch. I don't think I've ever seen this been done on YouTube before, or ever, to be honest. So, without further ado, buckle up, keep your legs and arms inside of the vehicle at all time. Let's get into it. Okay guys, something very important just happened, and that is, is that we are here at Magic Kingdom! So we stopped to get lunch at the Skipper Canteen. Instead of just like drawing in the park and then that be the end of the video, I thought it would be better if I went all over the park and picked the strangest places here at Magic Kingdom to draw and rated those strange places one through 10 on their drawability. Am I out of my mind? Maybe so. So the very first place that I'm gonna start drawing at is Tom Sawyer's Island, located in Frontierland. Tom Sawyer's Island is a walkable island in Frontierland that you have to take a little boat to get to, and besides a walking path, bathroom, and a rustic little playground, there's not really much there, which should make it perfect to draw at. So here's what I drew. It's a drawing of the ride that's right across from it, Big Thunder Mountain. Drawing on Tom Sawyer's Island was actually like very peaceful. It was very zen. I was in the zone, enjoying myself, enjoying the calming breeze. The only thing I didn't like about Tom Sawyer's Island the entire time, I felt like an old time buccaneer fighting the elements. It was insufferably hot. I was sweating. I sat on an old wooden stump. At one point, I literally saw a straight up alligator like 10 feet away from me. Alligator right there in the boat is going right towards it. Oh, there he goes. But I enjoyed it. I would give it an eight out of 10. All right, so now that I got done with Tom Sawyer's Island, this leads me to the second place that I am going to be trying to draw at, Space Mountain. No, I'm totally kidding. Do not do that. That's a very bad idea and we'll get you kicked out of the parks. The next weird spot that I'm thinking about is the Hall of Presidents. This is the best ride in the entire park, period. Located in Liberty Square, this attraction is a 15 minute animatronic show all about American history. And look, I understand why some people can think this attraction is boring. It is 1783 and the smoke is clearing in the wake of the Revolutionary War. But dude, I'm old, okay, I need a break from Disney World. <laughs> and the drawing experience here was so wonderful. I was in a heavily air-conditioned room sitting on plush velvet seats. It was too dark for my camera to get anything, but my eyes could see the entire time, so I was able to sit and draw. So I ended up drawing the replica Liberty Bell that's located right outside of the attraction. I only had about 15 minutes to do it, but I think the drawing came out really great. Hall of Presidents drawability is a perfect 10 out of 10. Now we're gonna kick things back up a notch and head over to Main Street, USA. This area is like the classic Disney experience where everything looks all vintage. You get to see the castle and all the decorations and smell all the sweet treats. And this area has the Main Street train, which takes you all around the park and stops at different places so you don't have to walk the entire way. I've never rode it before, so I'm hoping it'll be okay to draw on. Here we go. Oh man. Oh 
Okay. Ugh. I ended up drawing the famous Mickey Mouse pumpkins, which are all over the park right now because it's fall time. Drawing on that train was something else. That train is loud. Especially because it's certified proof that in these parts... But the train ride itself was really beautiful. I saw a lot of really great views. I enjoyed how quickly it got me through the entire park. I would love to ride it again, just not... When I'm drawing. I would rate the drawability a 6 out of 10. Next up, I'm making my way over to Tomorrowland, which is themed to be in the future. And to start this off, I'm gonna start with the very loved slash hated ride, the Carousel of Progress. This is a very difficult ride to explain, but basically you sit down in some chairs staring at a stage, the chairs rotate to different stages, and you get to see technology progress all the way from the 1800s all the way up to now. It's like the Hall of Presidents, it's very chill, no one's ever there, air-conditioned room, should be easy to draw at. Okay, so this ride, I really didn't know what to draw because literally every six minutes I would be rotating to a different scene. I really had to put like my thinking skills to use when it came to this drawing. So I ended up drawing four pieces of technology that correspond with each time period of the show. So for the late 1800s, I have a stopwatch, the 1920s, an electric kettle, the 1950s, a vintage refrigerator, and for modern day, a laptop. Drawing on the carousel of progress, I would say that it was, it was just okay. The scenes kept moving very quickly and it got very dark at certain times where I couldn't see what I was drawing and I just spent most of the time panicking on like what am I gonna draw here I only have like five minutes to do this but yeah I would say this was a very neutral drawing experience it was dark but it was very chill five out of ten now we're making our way over to Fantasyland so I can try the interactive 4D Mickey Mouse musical themed show Filler Magic. And this show has everything. We're talking light shows, 3D glasses, surround sound, interactive ceiling and walls, a giant mega theater, and most important, AC. Okay, I'm ready. Got my sketchbook, got my glasses. I am ready. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I want to show this to the internet right now, okay? Here's what I drew for this one. I have a trumpet, a Mickey Mouse wizard hat, and a second attempted Mickey Mouse wizard hat. <laughs> Filler Magic was definitely probably one of my least favorite attractions that I did the entire time. It was very, very loud to the point where it was almost disorienting loud. The lights were not just normal lights. They were all like vibrantly colored lights. I'm talking full on red, full on blue, full on green. And not only that, but the lighting would just be constantly flickering off and on. So I'd be drawing, then it'd go dark. Drawing, then dark. And somehow that's more hard to draw in than just pure darkness. And then on top of all that, every time I looked down, the 3D glasses would kind of disorient my eyes. I could barely think, let alone whip out a drawing for you guys. For drawability, I would rate this one a 0 out of 10. Next, I'm making my way back over to Tomorrowland to ride one of my favorite rides, the People Mover. So the People Mover is a calm, slow little cart that gives you a bird's eye view all around Tomorrowland. It whips you around different rides, restaurants, and gives you a little sneak peek of what's inside those buildings. All right, here we go, everybody. It's dark already. I hope I can draw something. I 
I drew the building that contains the ride of Space Mountain, which is such a pretty building, but I did not do it justice. As you can see, I was fighting for my life trying to make a straight line on this ride. I'm very conflicted for the rating for this one because on one hand, that was probably one of the most fun times I've ever had trying to draw something. It was so fun. But on the other hand, just when I would get my pencil position just right, I would be whipped off to the side. <laughs> Even though the ride is maybe like 12 minutes, about a third of the time is spent in almost complete darkness. And because the people mover takes you on a big course, there's so much to look at. I had no idea what to draw because it was constantly changing. For funness, I'm gonna give this ride a 10 out of 10, but for actual draw ability, one out of 10. And this brings me to the grand finale. Now something that I was keeping secret this entire video, before I left to Disney World, I actually drew a picture of Mickey Mouse as Jack Skellington. And I purposely left a space at the bottom because I thought that there would be no better way to end this video to finish my drawing than getting Mickey Mouse himself to sign the drawing. Now before I show you the clip, I just want to say that ever since I was a little kid, I had secretly always wanted to go to Disney World. It just seemed like this wonderful, magical place that unfortunately my parents, even though they did the best they could, taking us all to Disney World was just something they were never able to afford. And as you're about to see, even though I'm an adult now, the surreal reaction I had to meeting Mickey Mouse in Orlando, in, in Magic Kingdom, at Disney World, brought out my inner kid and it was just one of the most happiest <laughs> moments that I've ever had filming a video. So with that context, here it is. I'm gonna get him to sign my drawing. This is one of my most favorite drawings that I've ever done. It has so much fun memories attached to it. I would love to turn this into a series where I take my sketchbook to different places and take you guys with me. Ah, I can't stop smiling, my cheeks hurt. Oh. But anyway guys, thank you so much again for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Happy drawing, and with that being said, I'll see you guys later, bye.